we are looking at one of the most, probably one of the most used weapons in the game, Wither Horde. Um, it's got Countermass, Launcher Power, Black Powder Magazine, uh, Break the Bank, Blighted Targets take damage over time and blight the nearby area on death. Copies the stock and your kill tracker as well. Um, <clears throat> it is kinetic but it uses special ammo so just be wary of that. Um, you can upgrade it and it, I think it does have a catalyst. Let's go see where we can find it. So you can see here Witherward Catalyst acquired from Season of Arrivals Seasonal Reward Track but I believe you can also pick it up um, if you just keep playing the game. So Primeval's Torment. Projectiles fired by this weapon blight the target or nearby area on impact. Um, blast radius of 5, velocity of 12, stability of 68, handling of 63, reload speed 33, aim assist 84, zoom 12, airborne effectiveness 6, 90 rounds per minute, 1 in the magazine, recoil direction 100. Again you can change the appearance of it, drowned in strife which is, that is sick, I like that. Um, and slower. Like a one-man private security company, Drifter. Drifter slouches against the bulkhead of the derelict pile of dark moats scattered across the table in front of him. He fixes his gaze on the mass of Titan, the sharpness in his eye belaying his casual posture. I'm surprised you got the time to come round here, hassling me about these tiny mooks, Joxer. Seems like you got a, the big deal in orbit around Io. That's where the vanguard got, ought to be. The Drifter's hand rests casually on the, the handle of a thick breach loaded grenade launcher and ain't you vanguard through and three these days Joxer snorts at the irony I'm not here to hassle you drifter on the contrary consider this a friendly warning friendly huh is that what we are now drifter's grip on the great launcher titans now you raise my suspicion you better speak plain Joxer prepare to draw the titan shakes his head except exasperation. Some people say those pyramids damn near wiped us out once. Nobody knows for sure, but if they do you end up hostile, it's going to get heavy in a hurry. And you don't want to be the guy standing in the middle of a in the middle holding a bag of dark moots. And what the hell is business is it of yours where I'm standing? The drifter asks as he plants his boots on the deck. He raises to his feet. The grenade launcher dangling from his hand. Unless I'm standing in your way. Joxer puts his hands up in mock surrender. You know what? I came here because I'm trying to change. Making amends after what happened at Gambit Prime. I, I had to get it right. And part of that is giving you some friendly advice. To lay low for a while. He glances down at the dark moods. But if you don't want to hear reason, that's on you. Joxer trundles his way back to the back of the ship as the airlock hisses open. Drifter calls out, That's real nice armour, Joxer. Don't forget where you got it. So yeah, this uh, this is one of Drifter's grenade launchers. Um, this can be got from the Monuments of Lost Light. So you can get it in the tower. It's handy enough. So what we'll do is uh, take it into uh, the Altars of Sorrow and we'll um, we'll give it a, a go. This poor wizard isn't going to know what hit them. As you can see it blights them and does a bit of damage. When they die they drop a blight. So I know a lot of people use this for PvE PvP and a lot of the end game content as well, um, like raids. Um, it's it's pretty good because it does damage the buff over time as well. So it's a handy wee weapon to have. If I do say so myself, I don't use it as much as I would like to, but. It is what it is. Right, 
up here. So you can see it does pretty hefty damage over time. Um, because they died, but it also does sort of area effect. Pretty good. It's pretty good. Cause like when people when a dies drops the light and obviously it leaves a pool for enemies to walk into. This this man for the rebound is He's, he's going ham with the, uh, the uh, solar grenades. I am fairly impressed. So yeah, you can see it does a bit of damage for, for them walking through as well. But like I said, it use a special ammo so make sure you have you're not running like double special um because your ammo reserves will run out pretty quickly but yeah it's a lot of fun to use it's good for for a lot of things and uh what we'll do is do this right here This is a good activity to run if you want to like work, uh, see how your builds are doing or you want to, do want to test out new weapons like what they're hoard here um, or any of the other weapons that I've done in the series because normally it's um, there's a few guardians here and uh, yeah you can have a, a bit of fun so you can. This man or woman for the rebound is just oh they are doing the entire the heavy lifting. This is impressive to say the least. Oh I missed. So yeah, what you do is pick up the sword, find the wizard, get the crap out of them. Hey presto, we move on. As you can see, it's kind of slow to reload. Does the job. Yeah. So there you go. That is Wither Horde. Again, highly recommend you pick this up and it's fantastic for, for running and raids and whatnot. So, thank you for watching Guardians. See you in the next one.